Hi, welcome to the Narrowboat Experience. Today we are leaving the Stratford Canal and starting our narrowboat journey onto the River Avon. It's a bit of a different start for us today because the plan was to moor up in this basin. However, the wind and an abundance of gongoozlers meant that Kath decided to head instead for this open lock. Yes, that's the lock onto the river. The lock gates were open, so why not? Which then necessitated a quick purchase of a river license. Don't worry, you can see we weren't holding up traffic. And to our assistance came a lovely viewer of the vlog, Dashing Graham, equipped with a nice cup of tea, something we always suggest you have ready when watching the narrowboat experience, even in person. Thanks so much, Graham, for the chat and for getting our gates. Firstly, oh my goodness, look how wide it is. Slightly overwhelmed by our impulsive decision, we quickly moor up. When we moored up yesterday it started to rain but we still had the quick opportunity to have a little explore around Stratford. Unfortunately there's not much open so we didn't do it through the hedge for you guys because of lockdown. Luckily today it looks like the weather's going to be great and it's perfect weather for awesome t-shirts like this one which I designed. So if you're quackers about boats like me then head over to artbyanamarie.com and have a look at all of our shirt designs. I've just got to get the flotation device and other safety things set up so that we can get cruising and enjoy sharing the river with you guys. First attach the anchor. No, first untangle the anchor. And then we are off. Past the Royal Shakespeare Theatre Company on the right. Parting is such sweet sorrow. And goodbye to the mooring. Fare thee well to the higher boaters. Let me tell you, the difference in the width of the river compared to the canal is just epic. Remember the bridges on the Stratford Canal? They were barely seven foot wide. And just look at the amount of extra wildlife. It's not necessarily an increase in the variety as much as a multiplication in quantity. Geese, I lost count at 30. Swans, I didn't even try. I'll award points here if you can count them all. With the spire of the Holy Trinity Church up ahead, our path is widely set for the first lock. Two more here. You'll have to add them to a running total now. Have I mentioned how wide it is? Up ahead, the Colin P. Witter Lock, previously called Stratford Lock. The metal girders you see over the lock are used to stabilise the lock structure, not just to annoy and hinder solo boaters from accessing the lock bollards. A handy sign next to the lock explains how the lock was built in 1971 by men from Gloucester Jail and other volunteers. You approach the locks the same way as a canal lock. Make sure there's no one coming the other way before you close the gates then open the paddles to let some water in. These lock mechanisms were hydraulic, so there's not a lot of muscle involved, it's more just a lot of winding. So this is my first ever river lock by myself. I do get really nervous when it's new things and I have read up about it a little bit, but that nothing kind of prepares you for doing something the first time. So I'm very proud of myself. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm just taking it really slow. Must have been this guy's first time on the river too. He kept trying to paddle up this weir. Then our first bridge. Can you spot the blue arrow that shows you which arch to aim for? We spot it just in time, with only a sideways look of amusement from the local bridge guarding spot. So finally, good morning. We've ha it's been action packed already, so we haven't had a chance to say good morning to you guys. Welcome to the River Avon. This is the River Avon in Warwickshire because there are several River Avons in the UK. Yes, as we know because we tried to research the River Avon and it came up with a lot of other rivers. 
It's a glorious day today. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. It is our first time on the river and we are so glad to be sharing it with you guys. Today we're traveling from Stratford, which is where we left. We're going through three locks and we're getting to a place called Luddington. Luddington is plan A and then if we can't get a mooring at Luddington, we're going to continue on. different navigating a river than a canal. There are signs up that have little arrows but um, there was an arrow pointing left here to the lock and then a no entry sign and it just wasn't a hundred percent as um, informative as we would like and there's so much more space on the river so it's fine we could do a u-turn there's not a lot of current today we're feeling pretty confident it's just all really new to us. The white poles signal a lock landing, and now we're at our second lock. This one needed the big double gates closed, though they were big, they weren't actually that heavy. We needed to refill this lock, we seem to be following another boat. A handy bridge over the lock means a lovely view, complete with birdsong. This is the second lock and I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. I understand it a little bit more. There's a bit more signage at this lock. When you leave the lock, leave the gates open. Um, one of the paddles isn't working, but that's clearly signed. I'm feeling a little more confident at lock two. Unfazed, Kath was happy to enter the lock with only one gate open and exit in the same manner. There were some volunteers or Avon Trust workers, I'm not 100% sure, cleaning up the rubbish at that lock, which was just awesome of them, as well as two boats following us. So the crew on those boats got out to shut our paddle, uh, shut our gates for us. Mind you, you don't shut the gates when you're leaving anyway, but with another boat coming, it just is polite. So here comes our first boat. Because we're going downstream, it's harder for us to stop. So if we needed to stop, um, we would actually have priority and they would have to stop. We have priority at bridges, etc. Yeah, um, but it's quite a wide bit of river, so it's not going to be a problem. Also, uh, what's it with say? a life jacket. <laughs> also, Cass not alone now because the driver's wearing a life jacket. <laughs> Doesn't feel like so sad. A little shout out to the gentleman there in his life jacket making Kath feel less lonely is also a viewer. Safety so, first, so, so hello lovely viewer. Thank you for um, making our morning. We're just approaching Luddington Lock. We're super excited. We're really hoping that there's going to be a space for us. We're really excited as well because there's a water point. And we can do some laundry. <laughs> we can do laundry and also we can have super long showers. And this is the cat play area on the right. Well, they won't go far, but it just is so beautiful. Like these trees are so tall and the river's really calm today. And the forecast looks like calm river for the next week that we're on the Avon. Yeah, and I am having a better time now yeah, than she's, I was initially. She's probably a little bit hangry. Yes. Yeah. So we've got a weir coming up on our left, then there's a lock on the left, and we're gonna moor on the right. Yeah. Here's 
a nice 57 foot space just for us. It would be rude not to moor here. Mind your heads. Time to see if the cats approve. Tails down mean we're unsure. Some very cautious treading is required. Cute little nose bump for reassurance. Day one on the River Avon ends with Munchie taking up all the space on the sofa, having used up his 20 minutes of awake time exploring the mooring spot. Please give this video a like if you have enjoyed it. Next week we continue down the river Avon and I continue my battle with bridges and locks. Subscribe now because we really want you on this journey. Day two, one mile. The wind tripped us up a little bit.